Oh, these two tables are called uh, what I call lift back tables. Uh, they're important. Many people really require these. But my point is this. Here's our table. It's as it should be. Here's another table that looked kind of similar online. But God forbid, if somebody over that gets on this table and pushes back, and if they weigh over like 90 pounds, you know, it's going to break. But this is new out of the box, never been used. But it just, wait a second. Okay. Look at this. Foam, I think one inch. Foam, three inches. Okay. Look at this. Please come in a little bit. Oh, here's something important. Let's see what you, get. you see this bracket here? Focus in on this bracket. You see that? Where this bracket is attached to the piece of wood, the piece of wood is only three or four millimeters, depending. Where this bracket is attached to the piece of wood, you're supposed to take a little square of that wood and reinforce that point on the other side. So we cut this one away to see if there was a reinforcement block, but you know you might expect it's not there. This is just, there is no reinforcement block, but I guarantee you there is one here because we don't want the stuff to break. Another point I'd like to make, please try to zoom in on this real closely. You see this corner here of the table? It's a, what they call a dovetail joint, you know, like fingers interlocking. Of course, it's glued and screwed and everything. Probably glued and screwed, no spot nails or anything like that. But, but it's a dovetail joint. It won't get loose. It won't get wobbly on you. Look at this joint. This is what's called a butt joint. I mean, technically, a carpenter would call this a butt joint. It's just two pieces of wood you know, nailed together at the corner, and as such, is the weakest thing in the world. And you use this table in a little while, it's going to get very loose and very wobbly. That's the difference. You can't see it underneath the, uh, underneath the material. Uh, I'm talking about this piece of wood right here. It's called a stabilizer bar, that's what we call it. It does two things. <clears throat> One, it's kind of convenient because when you go to fold your table up, you push here and the other leg kind of comes along because it's connected by this stabilizer bar. But another function of it is this. When the table is fully loaded with weight, if you put like 2,000 pounds on this table, or if you put 2,000 pounds on your shoulders, the first thing that happens is your legs start to spread apart. And when your legs start to spread apart, the failure point in that situation is always around the knee joint here. Uh, with the stabilizer bar, under maximum capacity weight, the legs stay nice and vertical. Everything stays nice and tidy, the way it was designed to be. And it makes the table stronger. A table with a stabilizer bar it doesn't look very important. But a table with a stabilizer bar is much stronger than a table without it. See this? Could you imagine if the table is low, there's no stabilizer bar. And in this table, just, well, just break in a second like a match. Okay, that's the end of this chapter.